Hi, this is iPad Tutorial Dudes, and today I'm going to show you how to fix your Dtunes bug in the firmware 4.0, 4.0.1, 4.0.2, 4 .1, and 4.1, and maybe more to come. So what you were, what the problem is, is that um, when you're going on Dtunes and you find a song you want to download and you click on the download link, what it pops up is it pops up QuickTime media player and just plays a song and you have no download option this is a very very simple fix you don't need any computer or any money whatsoever to do this so you're gonna pull up um, Cydia or Rock and if you're using Cydia download iFile if you're using Rock you're gonna you can't get iFile from Rock so you're gonna need the sinful iPhone repo sor source which you should um, know where that is and you can download iFile cracked and then once you download iFile, it's going to show up right here on your springboard. You're going to open it, and you're going to go back, keep going back to the root. And you know you're at the root when there's a big slash on the top of your screen. That means you're at the root. So you're going to go to System, Library, and scroll down, and you're going to go to Internet Plugins. Now what you're going to do here, you're going to see three of them. I only have two because I already deleted the one that you're going to need to delete. One of them says File Download Plugin, one of them says YouTube Plugin, and one of them says QuickTime Safari Plugin. You are going to slide your finger across and press the delete button on the Safari one. What that basically means you're deleting is you're deleting the function that pulls up QuickTime Player whenever you, when you, you try to open and stream media. This does not affect YouTube or something like that, but it does affect file downloads. So you, when you delete that, it sh the QuickTime player should no longer come up. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate on Dtunes. I'm going to download a song. I'm going to search. And as you can see, this is pretty hard to do on an iPod. So I'm searching I'm the Walrus by the Beatles. And um sometimes there are see how this is like various artists and all this kind of stuff. You want to find by the artist you want. And obviously I do not want these random people here. See right here the Beatles. So you're gonna, you're gonna click on the link that you want, open it. So you're going to enter the code, which hasn't exactly appeared yet. Okay, here's the code. FXB. It's not case sensitive or anything in you can see the auto correction is turning to get PSN now. And get rid of the auto correction thing. So now, once you type in the right code, you're going to scroll up. See, the, there's the um, ringtone thing. You don't need that. See, we're right up here where it says download song right here. Download, you're going to click on the download link. And just like this, takes us perfectly to Dtunes. So now I'm going to quickly download this file. So this is the Dtunes downloader. This is what happens if you delete the QuickTime player, or the QuickTime media player. And right now on this version of Dtunes, there is a a bug in it which I'm going to show you you cannot listen to music right now I'm sure they'll update it so you can you see as I click on this it will crash so I'm going to show you for the meantime this is just a temporary fix how you can um, look at or how you can listen to music there are two ways first I'm going to show you that way through iFile this way is it's a little bit longer but you can use this 
Um, you're going to go back to the roots, see with the slash, var, mobile, lowercase m, library, and you're going to scroll down to downloads. And as you can see here, I can select the song I wanted to in DTunes, and it will work. As you can hear the song, the only downside of this is that you cannot um, toggle your spot in the song, which is the downside of using iFile. So you see here, um, I'm going to show you the other way you can do it. Um, you can go on Rack or Cydia, and I'll just show you what you type in. iPocket TV. It looks kind of strange, but you're going to... Um, Download the app iPocket TV from Rock or Cydia. This has a nice media player as well. And you can use this for doing illegal stuff, which I don't. You can listen to your music here, as you can see. This is a much easier way of doing it, and you press the play button. It pulls up this. Um, this is You recognize it from DTunes? You can say play in media player. And look at this. Now, you can toggle to the songs. So this is a much easier way than the um, iFile way, but I just thought I'd show you both in case you didn't want it. So please, um, thank you for watching. Be sure to um, subscribe, comment if you need any help or anything, and thanks for watching.